Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome finger style lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I'm going to show you and teach you yet another awesome Justin Towns Earl picking pattern. This is a follow-up to the lesson I did on Justin Towns Earl's brilliant, brilliant shuffle pattern. This is going to be in straight eights, okay? So I just want to thank uh, your fellow Lickin' Riffer who donated this lesson to the channel. He's a big Justin Towns Earl fan and we all mourn his tragic passing and let's honor him by learning to play like him so the pattern is this okay it's easier than the previous one it's easier than the shuffle pattern um, so this is a pretty fixed pattern I'm playing this in A, okay? It's, it's an A, so I'm barring the second fret up to the fourth string, okay? The fifth is still open. And I'm playing, um, I'm playing strings three, four, and five, okay? Three, four, and five. Okay, so I'm playing the bass first, then I'm playing the chord, okay? So I'm playing the fifth with my thumb, and then I'm playing strings three and four, Okay, now you can also uh, use one finger and just, okay, strum upwards with one of your fingers, okay? So, just like this, okay? Okay, just use one finger and strum both the third and fourth, okay? That's actually how Justin Towns Earl actually did it, okay? And then you slap strum, okay? You strum strings five, four, and three, but you slap on the sixth string, okay, on the E string, okay, so you get, okay, this. Now, this is a boogie pattern, okay, so when you slap, okay, when you slap and strum, you bar the, fret, the, the fourth fret, okay, you bar the fourth fret with your third finger on strings three and four, okay, so you get this, okay, Okay. And then you just strum upwards again on the second fret on A, or you pick strings three and four. That's it. That's the whole pattern. So you get bass chord, okay? And you slap and strum, okay? With the fourth fret barred on strings three and four. And then you just play two and two again on strings three and four. And again, you can pick it, okay, you can pick, or you can strum upwards with a finger the way that he did it. Okay, so. on E as well, okay, you just do the same thing on E, okay, on the three bass string. Okay, right? and that's it for this lesson. It's uh, not that complicated, right? It's just the, the just the, um, the strumming and the slapping at the same time. That can be a little bit tricky, but you can do it, I trust you. Uh, if you don't get used to it, I have several lessons on mastering slapping. Okay, so search for Lick and Riff slapping and you'll find all the lessons on slapping. So thank you so much, dear Lick and Riffer, Justin Towns Earl fan uh, for this lesson. And thank you, Lick and Riffers, for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you the next lesson. Bye for now. Thank you very much. Enjoy.